We saw those temperatures this weekend. Madison, do we think that those are going to continue throughout the week? We are going to see some ups and downs. We do have plenty okay. of heat headed our way as well, but I really think that humidity is the kicker, Ugh. especially when we talk about dangerous heat because oh, we really? need to be able to sweat and that sweat to evaporate in order to stay cool. The higher the mm. humidity, the harder it is for our bodies to cool ourselves down with our, our natural mechanisms. Wow. So that humidity is really going to be the tough part. We're getting a brief break from it though. We got a cold front. It rolled through earlier today it helped bring in a little bit of dry air and some sunshine it looks beautiful out there for most spots right now and uh, we'll be staying dry as we head through tonight and into Monday we do have some changes once we get past Tuesday some more rain is going to return to the forecast and we start talking about increasing humidity levels with increasing temperatures as well if you still got to head out this evening really really nice again temperatures in the 70s right now blue a little bit of a break from what we've seen 76 in Columbus Delaware 75 Kashaw in 73, New Lexington 74 and 81 in MacArthur. This evening, it's still going to feel a little sticky at times, but generally those humidity levels are dropping, so it's going to feel pretty close to our actual temperature through the overnight with our lows dropping down to the lower 60s. Columbus bottoming out at 60 degrees even. And again, it's going to be a really, really nice change. And I want to show you here how it's going to be looking as we head through the next 24 hours on your hour by hour forecast. So this evening, winds are out of the north. It's pulling in that drier air, giving us a break from the humidity. We still have a few clouds out there, but those roll out through the overnight hours and temperatures fall. We're down to the uh, upper 50s and lower 60s as you step out the door early tomorrow morning. And there's still a chance for just a smidge, just a little bit of patchy fog as the last of that humidity is working its way out of the area. But as we jump ahead to tomorrow afternoon, it looks fantastic or sunny or comfortable. Temperatures are back into the lower 80s, but winds are still out of the north, still pulling in that dry air. So it's going to feel like a different 83 from what we had last week. We do keep warming up through the afternoon with a chance for a couple pop up clouds, maybe a stray shower or two, but generally speaking, dry and quiet for your Monday even as we head into the overnight hours. But you'll notice there that last couple frames, we actually see our winds start to turn. So as we head into Tuesday, we instead of talking about a northerly wind, we're seeing a southerly wind. And that's going to pull that humidity back in from the south, from the Gulf, and start to ramp up our dew points to the 70s by the end of the week. That's higher than we were even last week when it was feeling hot with highs in the upper 80s. Now, when it comes to temperatures over the next couple days, we're going to see those rise as well, slowly climbing back to the upper 80s. We get a brief break on Wednesday into Thursday as we do have a round of showers coming in that will cool temperatures off just briefly. But as we saw there, it's not going to do anything for the humidity. So it's going to be feeling pretty hot and sticky throughout the week. Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, we're watching a chance for a couple of those showers and storms, but temperatures relatively staying there in the upper 80s. Might see a little bit of a cool down as we head into next weekend, but very July like for our forecast here. Oh.